All right, so in this video, we are going to revisit this baby day gecko setup that I had built. Um, one of my favorite builds um, truly was, uh, was a joy to have these little fellas and watching them run around this enclosure acting as day geckos should, chasing little fruit flies and whatnot. So again, this, we're just going to recap over this video and uh, see that little, that, that's an amazing photo. I love, or that shot of him, his shadow through that leaf. And then he comes down to stalk the fly. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Successful little hunter there. These things are so cute. I'm going to have to get into them again. I also kind of want to play around with some of the, the smaller species. The giant dead gecko. If you haven't had them, check them out. They're very fun and very personal animals, and they do great in a fully uh, bioactive setup. So uh, that uh, checks all the boxes for me. You are here because the outside world rejects you. Let's do it. Okay, so with all my bio builds, I make the false bottom, and there was just a screenshot of the video explaining what a false bottom is. We just gotta fill it with our substrate, then we got our hard structure, uh, fill this cork tube in, so that way it becomes a planter for this pothos here in the corner. Um, pothos are one of my favorite, they're pretty easy. Now the plants I chose were big leafed, uh, somewhat heavy bodied, so that way they could support the weight of the geckos when they're resting on them so for me that's uh why i chose what i chose and uh, then just kind of put them around the the setup to just you know kind of get that good feel and good cover and um, plenty of places for them to climb and hide and and do their little hunting skills and that's just uh you know play around with it have fun with it there is no absolute right way or wrong way just do it until it looks good to you and then of course we got some little moss here for the base and then once everything is done and planted, go ahead and give it a good, good soak down. So that way, uh, you, you know, your plants are thriving as well. Okay, so now here's the best part of the whole build. And that is releasing your little habitants into their new, uh, new environment for them to explore. Of course, he's just going to kind of rest here a minute because, you know, he doesn't know if there's something in here that's going to eat him. He doesn't know that he's going to be king of this jungle. So, uh, you know, no shame in taking a minute to observe and see what's going around. All right, so now that he's had time to kind of look around, we're going to get some more of his uh, cage mates in here. Also, day geckos of the of a hatch date that was pretty similar to this one. Um, actually, I think these two were siblings, to be honest, and I think there is a third egg that hatched um, that was from a different pairing. Um, that gecko will also eventually be in here as well. So a little five and a half gallon fully planted vivarium is the perfect size for these five guys, or five guys, excuse me, for these three guys or girls. But obviously, as they get a little bit bigger, we will separate them out, and there is the third one. Um, yeah, we'll separate them out, but for now, this is just a good little, little grow out thing until uh, they were a little bit bigger and able to move. Oh, I guess I had four in here. Four babies. I stand corrected. Anyways, let's take a look at them feeding. Mm -hmm. 